Hello everybody. Um, this is going to be a really short tutorial on how to um, add your Exceed toolkit for um, things like Property Grid and Data Grid. We're going to add it uh, to, to the toolbar in Visual Studio. I'm surprised there has not been many um, YouTube videos about this, um, so I'm going to fill that gap. First I'm going to uh, search for YouTube, uh, install Exceed toolkit here we go. Um, there is in fact a chap that has made a video on how to do this, but I've looked at that and it's nowhere near as complicated as that. It's really, really simple. So as with all my tutorials, I'm just going to um, start with a fresh session of Auto uh, Visual Studio, create a new project. Um, this is going to be a WPF application. Um, add that in there, create a blank one. And the way we're going to get our um, Exceed Toolkit is by using the new Get Package Manager. So under the Tools drop-down menu right here, um, if you go to New Get Package Manager, then here if we go Manage New Get Packages for Solution, uh, this will open up this screen. Click on Browse and just type in the words Exceed Toolkit. Here it is, it should automatically search, and there it is, the second one down is the one we want. We're going to install it to that brand new project we just created, and there we're done. So um, here it is, it's gone and created all the references, but what we need, we need it to have all the tools appearing over here in our toolbox. So um, we're going to minimize these two, and we're going to create ourselves a new tab, and we're going to call these Exceed. WPF tool kit. There it is, got a new tab there. How are we going to get our ta uh, tools into there? Very simple. In Solution Explorer, we're going to do a right mouse click on your project, not on Solution, on the project. Then go to Open Folder in File Explorer. Then we're going to drill one level up, then drill one level down on the directory packages. Drill down again on that one, extended WPF toolkit. Drill down onto uh, library, then net 4.0, and finally we're in the directory with our tools. If we just grab that last DLL, the exceed WPF toolkit DLL, and we're just going to um, first actually we'll get our, our little menu ready and under toolbox. We're going to drag it right onto there. We're going to drag it right onto the new tab we just created. So we're going to uh, come back to our Explorer window, grab that file, drag it, 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 and drop. And just like that, it should automatically cre create all the controls that we need. And from there, we can drag on um, things like property grid. There it is. There's our property grid. I'll just lock that uh, to the sides of the windows and then we'll test it. Lock it there, lock it there, test it. And with a bit of luck, that will show us a properties grid um, control. There it is, right there, and it works. So it's just that easy. No coding required. And thank you for your time. Please drop me a like. And um, tell me if um, I got it right. I'm sure there's an even easier way of doing this.